Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Anim and Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. First of all, as you can see, I'm in a very different location today. I'm still on my little Christmas vacation down in Florida, I'll be heading back up north tomorrow. But, as promised, I am trying my best to do my usual Friday video. And what I have found this week, starting with a little bit of what I talked about last week, last week I had mentioned that there was a Captain America model, a 12 inch tall, slightly over 12 inch tall Captain America model available on AliExpress. And this week I saw that there's also an Iron Man of the same height, 12 inches or 32 centimeters tall. Now, one of the mistakes I made last week was to say 12 feet, and that was hopefully a very obvious mistake, which I tried to correct with a later video. But to make sure, if you didn't see it, see the correction, the Captain America was 12.6 inches tall, the built fully finished model. And the Iron Man that I've seen this week is also 12.6 inches or 32 centimeters tall. Now, also after the Captain America, I did notice on the Metal Earth subreddit, there was some talk about that model and a Song Gonsu on Metal Earth, on the Metal Earth subreddit states that you may know this model is not original, and this is in reference to the Captain America version one. This is 12 sheets, but original is three large sheets. Recently, some of the metal brick models are released in AliExpress as counterfeit. So I believe, and I did go back and look, I talked several weeks about Metal Brick, another company out there that makes models, and I posted about their website, and I didn't dive too deep into it because there's a lot there, but they do have a version of the Captain America and Iron Man models probably says on that website, the Metal Brick website, the height, but I couldn't find the translation for it. So I'm guessing that these are copycats of those models. So I don't know what the quality of them is, but copycats tend to be not as good a quality as the original, so beware of that. If you're very interested in buying these models, you might look into the Metal Brick website instead, but I'll have links to all this, as usual, in the description down below. You'll notice that I didn't start off with the usual Metal Earth because with Fascinations in Metal Earth, there doesn't appear to be anything new this week. Peace Cool is the same on their particular website. There's nothing new, but if you look on AliExpress, it looks like the Golden Toad, the Phoenix Coronet, Bridal Sedan Chair, and the God of Misfortune that I talked about several weeks ago are now available for sale on AliExpress and can be found in numerous different shops on AliExpress. Now one other thing I want to touch on is not necessarily a Metal Earth, a Metal Earth type model, but it is a metal model that I've seen a little bit about recently and I'm very interested in, and they've recently come up for sale and it's called Time for Machine. And I've seen that they've had an Instagram and I've seen bits and pieces about it, but every time I check their website, it wasn't yet for sale. Well this week, well, actually a week or so ago, they did come up for sale and I didn't really have time to talk much about them. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it today. The Time for Machine models look very similar to Metal Earth models. They are metal models that you construct out of different pieces. The difference being is that these models are mechanized or mechanical and will actually move. There's a tank, for instance, that you can actually wind up and it will move. And you can control the speed. You can actually switch the two side gears or tracks on and off so that it turns. There's switches on it that you can control. It's all mechanical. Very cool. Doing a little bit of research this week, it turns out it was, an actual, it was actually a Kickstarter that I had missed because I don't really follow a lot, along a lot with Kickstarters. I don't have the time. But apparently this was originally a Kickstarter and the person who started this, and I did know this before, was the same person behind the U-Gears. And U-Gears are wooden models that you put together out of pieces that are, some of them are mechanical, some are not. And I've thought about getting into U-Gears before but honestly, I just don't have the time to get into you gears. I would have to sacrifice what I'm already doing with the Metal Earth and the MU models and the Peace School models, and I don't have enough time to do all of what I want to do with that, so I never did get into you gears But this one, I kind of want to make an exception. If you go to their website, and of course there'll be a link in the description down below, I believe it's timeformachine.com or something like that. Fortunately, I'm out here and I don't have the computer in front of me, but again, there'll be a link in the description down below. They have several metal models and some wood models that are similar to the U-Gears, but they have, for the metal ones, they have a Marvel tank, and I don't believe this is Marvel as in, you know, DC, or not DC, but Marvel Comics, but just Marvel tank, Glorious Cabrillo, it's a classic car, Mysterious Timer, basically a big clock or timer machine, and a Medieval Hockey, 
basically one of those little look a little hockey table that you can control the players mechanically. And there in the wood, there's a push dozer, a mechanical gingerbread, a robot arm, a sweet home looks like a basically a house that opens up, and an Elvis car. And from what I can tell, all of these models are mechanical in some way. They either wind up and move on their own, or they have mechanisms that you can move things around, like the hockey table. And that's really neat. They're a bit pricey. They come as a complete kit, so they come with the sheets and with tools to help you assemble these models. And I would really, really, really love to give one of the metal ones a try, and I think that might be appropriate for what I do. So I might have to really look into finding some extra time to build at least one of the Time for Machine models. They are a bit pricey. And Time for Machine, if you're out there and you're watching, I'd be super interested in trying out either your car or tank or one of the metal models from your collection. But I thought I'd throw that in here. I've seen talk about it on the Metaler subreddit because it's so very similar. They are highly detailed in the description. They, they brag a little bit about the amount of detail put into it. Not that I doubt them. Really cool. And they're mechanical, so that, that certainly appeals to the mechanical side of me. I like doing the hobbies and stuff that I do because I like working with my hands and I like mechanical things. So really, really awesome. And I shot, thought I would take a moment to share that in this video this week. Beyond that, again, I'm down here visiting some family in Florida. And again, like last time, I've had the opportunity to ride some ATVs. And this time, a three-wheeler because my brother is a bit of a collector of these things and likes to tinker around with ATVs and specifically three-wheelers. And it occurred to me over the Thanksgiving holiday, I wonder if Metal Earth would be interested or would be, could be encouraged to produce some ATV style models. Because I certainly would find them very interesting to build. The Halo collection, the uh, ATV, I can't remember what it was called, but the ATV model that had guns on it was probably my favorite out of all of the Halo models to build. I just really liked it. It's just kind of a souped up ATV vehicle. I think it'd be a lot of fun to build some Metal Earth ATV or even three wheel models or three-wheeler models, especially since three-wheelers here in the U.S. I don't know if in any other country they're made anymore, but here in the U.S. they're not. If you want a three-wheeler, you either have to modify a quad ATV or go find the classic one and fix it up, which is some of what my brother had done. But I spoke to Metal Earth through my contact with them and asked if they'd be interested, and they said, you know what, we've talked about it, but we're not really sure there's interest out there. So, if that's something you'd like to see, I highly encourage you to either let me or Metal Earth know that a three-wheeler or four-wheeler ATV style model is something you'd like to see. Leave it in the comments down below or send them a message yourself because if they're already thinking about it, they just need a little bit of encouragement and I'm all for it. I'll leave it at that. As always, thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping support me to make these channels and make these new videos. Without you, I wouldn't have gone as far as I have. This is, I wouldn't have gone as far as I have. Thank you for watching. Until next week, keep on keeping on.